What's up everybody? Welcome back. Hi there. How's it going? Welcome back to my motherfucking channel. Today, we're going to be diving into a crazy luxurious foundation and it is from one of my favorite brands, Armani. Now, let's rewind. Let's just rewind for a second here because 2016, I don't know how many times I use this foundation. Now, this is the tried and true Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk foundation. Now this one, oh my god, this one is like, it's one of those moments where when you're in an interview and people ask you, like, if you're on a desert island, what five beauty items can you not live without? Girl, this is one of them. For some reason, the luminous silk made your skin glowy, but full coverage, and it was just like, almost like plastic, which is something I'm into. So, we're gonna put this down and get on to what we're really here for. So Armani Beauty has really been killing it lately. I know not everyone uses them because they are a little more luxurious, but I have been using their setting spray for the for a few videos now. I really like this one. This is the Armani Prima setting spray. And then of course, I think in a bunch of videos last year, I used the Luminous Silk Compact, which is the powder foundation to that other foundation. So, I get an alert the other day on my email and it's like, Armani, brand new foundation, it's full coverage. And you know me, I'm like, full coverage? What? Oh, oh, does someone call me? So, I log in and here's what we see, bam. First of all, the name kind of threw me off because it's a little weird. Power Fabric Longwear High Cover Foundation. And I'm like, Power Fabric, that is such a weird name. But the name also hooked me in because it was so weird, I was like, hmm. Now of course, since this is a full coverage foundation, I was like, oh my god, I gotta try this out immediately. So as you all know, when you're buying shades online, it's very hard to find your color when you obviously have never tried even the formula before. Because let's say this, let me see, I get asked all the time, what is your shade in the Luminous Silk? I am shade number two, I had to make sure. Now. Two in this brand, which I have in my hand right here, may not match the two from the other formula. I mean, this one looks a little darker. You see what I'm saying here? So it's like, how do you really know? So I bought three of these because you guys know, I'm not trying to get played and have some crazy ass skin color. So I bought three of these today. We have shades two, 3.5, and then one. We're obviously gonna try these all out right now and see which one is gonna match me. But I do want to dive in and talk about the product. Now, the Luminous Silk Foundation, it's pricey. And let me just tell you right now, the Power Fabric, it's just as pricey. So, logging in on their website, this is a $64 foundation. It says that this is actually best applied with a blending brush. Hmm. Now, y'all know I've been using my beauty blender for just about anything. But today, I think we're going to have to whip out a foundation brush to buff and see if this thing really works. Because if the brand says it should be with a brush, well, we're just gonna have to try it with a brush. Now, this foundation has SPF 25 in it. Yes, y'all know I, I'm an anti-aging hoe. Now, it says that Armani developed a breakthrough second skin fluid foundation. Allegedly, this has the highest percentage of pigments in a supple and elastic texture, providing a velvety, luminous, impeccable, long-lasting result. No caking, okay, that's a big claim, and no settling on fine lines face perfection that looks natural. Sign me up, girl, woo, work! You know what's crazy that I hate? When a, when a product has SPF in it and it says, let me just read this verbatim, it says, reapply every two hours. Who the fuck has time for that? You think I'm two hours later into the day, I'm gonna pause and stop in traffic and reapply my whole damn face? <laughs> I can't, but hey, if you really want sunscreen to work, I guess after two hours, the shits don't work anymore. Now, I'm really excited to try this, so I think I'm just gonna dive right into it. I think it's only fair, though, that I prime the skin because I would never apply this normally on my bare skin. So we're gonna go in with the primer that y'all know I've used a million times, the Grillon Pure Gold Radiance. Of course, my one of my tried and true. I grabbed my, of course, favorite little brush that I always apply my primers with, and we're just gonna go in. Now, it will leave some gold flakes on your skin. Keep them in there, they dissolve, and I'm down for that. Of course, we had to hit the neck a little bit, and voila, bam, all right. So, it says to apply this with a brush, so I grabbed this new angled foundation brush from Kevin Aquan, one of my favorite beauty brands. Now, let's get these clips. Let's pin this hair back and let this face shine. All right, guys, I guess we are about to color match, so let me unbox shade one. I mean, on camera, and the monitor, it don't look that bad, but 
it looks very stark white in person. And then number two, which is my match in the other foundation, is looks like a little yellow in the bottle, but it's also deceiving because it is frosted glass. And then, of course, we have the third one, which is 3.5, and this looks very summertime, like, so I guess there's only one way to find out. I'm gonna take all three, is I'm just gonna take this and put a little bit on my finger. This is number one, and then we're just gonna match it down here with this a dot. <gasps> oh yeah, that is like really, really fair. Like, girl, I don't think so. Okay, number two's close. It's a little yellow though. And then 3.5, there is no way this is gonna be a match, you guys. There's no way. Oh my God, they're all so different. Like, I am tripping out. I honestly think the 3.5, is that crazy? I was almost scared, you guys. Like, it may be a little bronzy, but it really matches my skin tone, I think, the best. Okay. I should have done this before the primer, but it's okay because we can fix it. I'm just gonna take a little makeup wipe and wipe these off, of course. And now, because my extra ass is so crazy, I like to take tissue or a paper towel, you guys, and wipe off the residue of the makeup wipe because obviously if you're gonna put makeup on over that, the shit ain't gonna work. Yes, all right. Let's give this baby a whirl, making sure it's the right color. Yes, 3.5. I'm just gonna take some on this brush. Don't play me, girl. Okay, now it's full coverage, so I'm just gonna start there. And if you've been watching me for a while, you know I like to dot it all over the face before blending. This smells just like the Luminous Silk. It is very, it has like its own Armani smell. Like, I don't even know really how to explain it, except it smells foundation-y, a little skin y It has this weird undertone of something, and um, I kind of live for it. Okay, so before I do any more, I think I'm just gonna blend this out, and if we wanna add more, we'll add more. Let's get to it. We are done buffing and blending. Let me put this down. Ooh, I feel like I was holding my breath for a minute. Now I'm looking in the viewfinder. Ooh, see right there? It has like a little luminosity, which did exactly say that in this little booklet. It does look a little luminous, so obviously I have nothing on my face but primer. And as I'm moving, you can see the skin does have a little bit of like, ooh, a little bit of shine to it. I know the word shine is kind of scary because if you're oily, you want to run from that, but it just gives your skin a little, Aww. So if you are oily, you probably will not like this right off the bat because it does give you an extra glow. All right, so my first impressions are, now it's not as full, full coverage as I thought. Like when this said high, full coverage, it definitely covered all of the discoloration that I have in my face in these problem areas. If you've ever seen a 4K video of mine, girl, you know that it's real. <laughs> now, definitely covered my discoloration on the eyelids. Got the forehead really nice. It feels good too. It feels really lightweight, which I think is very important because some foundations that are full coverage or anything like this, you can almost like feel it, like your face is like, oh fuck. But um, this one's really lightweight, which is nice. All right, we're gonna go in a little bit more with this. Hi there. I already put a lot in right there, so we're gonna avoid that area. Bam, bam, bam. Okay, cool. Let's buff this out and see what happens. Okay, here's what we're, this is what I'm talking about. I really like the coverage now. I just feel like that second layer was maybe what I personally like. So if you're someone that likes your discoloration covered and you don't need a cake face, one layer is honestly great. I do wanna apply some makeup on and then come back and talk about it and then, you know, come back later in the day. So, I'll be right back. All right, now on camera, a lot of times when you use something after the foundation, like let's say your concealer, it might not really go with this formula. So on camera, I'm gonna apply my concealer and powder and then we will see what the hell is going on with the face. So of course, I'm gonna go in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I would use this anyway. So if this foundation wants to stay in my drawer, it needs to work with this one. Now, here's where I'm going to go in with my beauty blender and buff this out to filth. Oh shit, I forgot to put a condom on this. Oh wait, we all know that didn't fucking work. All right, back to blending. All right, now, I gotta, I gotta be really honest. I am loving 
how this concealer looks over this foundation. Because a lot of the times you'll put on a concealer over a new foundation you're trying and the formula really doesn't settle right or it just doesn't go together. I mean, some ingredients do not mix well, which I've learned in the past from doing so many first impressions. So this concealer really looks pretty. Like it looks beautiful. All right, cool. I am going to quickly set the under eyes, of course, with my favorite La Mer the Powder. I like to just go into my damp beauty blender, of course. This is my trick I've been telling everybody forever. If you just really wanna melt the powder into the skin, use a damp sponge. Now, not soaking, it just has to be damp, and I let that sit there for a second before I brush it off. All right, now I'm gonna gently brush this powder off. looks really nice. Okay, cool. So the last step that I would do before I finish the rest of my face and I go about my day is I would take, of course, the Armani Luminous Silk Powder Foundation with any brush and I would just pack this over all the parts I did not highlight. Whew. All right, guys, I'm gonna go finish up the rest of my face and I'll be right back. All right, you guys, I just did a little soft, easy glam that I like to wear to the office. And the foundation, now obviously, it took me about like 25 minutes to do this quickly, and the foundation is still really snatched. So I'm gonna go run some errands, go to the office, and I'll probably be back in like six or seven hours, and we'll do a little, I guess, a check-in, if you will, and see if anything moved and what the fuck happened to my face. So, see you guys in a little bit. Oh, excuse me. All right, everybody. Oh, I have the hiccups all of a sudden. What in the hell? All right, I'm looking in the monitor and my skin stayed pretty snatched in the last seven hours. My lip gloss, I reapplied twice because eating, drinking, that is so normal, obviously. I gotta say, it looks really nice. Like, I'm talking really nice. Probably one of the nicest foundations I've used in a while. I know that's a big statement but you all know I've been dying over my La Mer foundation. Hi, it's getting empty. This is probably my new favorite for 17 so far. I know we're only two months in, but I gotta say this is a runner up already because I mean, it really didn't move. It didn't settle in any fine lines. It didn't cake or look weird or crazy. Even after I added powder foundation, setting spray, everything else I did to myself, it looks, it looks really nice. I'm over here like, oh, Okay, honey, I see you. All right, Armani, you keep slaying my existence. I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do about you this year. All right, I'm gonna say it right here and right now. The Armani Power Fabric Full Coverage Foundation is Jeffree Star approved. Woo! I really love this. It is beautiful. It lasted a while so far, and in LA, the weather's a little basic here. It's been raining a lot, actually. Thank God there's no more drought. Woo! -hoo! I think, right? Don't quote me on that. <laughs> but, um,. You know, our weather here is very dry, it's also very warm, and the foundation did not move. I'm sitting here in my mirror and I'm looking at it, and I'm like, oh my god, you guys, like, it doesn't look bad. Like, usually after like six or seven hours, you all know we all need a touch-up. Raise your hands if you need a motherfucking touch-up. I do. All right, my hair is a fucking mess from this uh, life of mine, and <laughs> I think it's time to take off my neck. My makeup? I'm thinking of Nathan. I'm always, <laughs> oh my God, the dick's on my brain. But I'm gonna go take off my makeup and then I'm gonna go take off Nathan and then we're gonna see what the hell happens. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Now I know any counter that sells this, you can definitely get a sample, which I advise. Always get samples, never waste your money on something in case it doesn't work. Obviously I'm doing this because this is for YouTube and it's my job, but I mean, samples are it because who wants to spend $64 on something that maybe might work. So be smart about it and I will see you on the next one. Mwah. Bye guys.